good. Right. Failure. You just tense up a little bit. You tense up because you don't like that word. In fact, it makes you a little uncomfortable. You don't like it, and you try to avoid it altogether. You know those scenes in action movies where they're going over the plan, and at the end, the guy in charge says, failure is not an option. Well, failure is an option. We live in a country where failure is frowned upon, but let's look at it from a different perspective. Here's what MindTools.com had to say about my topic. Attichophobia, or the fear of failure, is when we allow that fear to stop us from doing the things that can move us forward to achieve our goals. You might experience some of these symptoms if you have the fear of failure. A reluctance to try new things or get involved with challenging projects. Self-sabotage, for example, procrastination, excessive anxiety, or a failure to follow through on goals. Low self-esteem or self-confidence is commonly using negative statements such as, I'll never be good enough to get that promotion, or I'm not smart enough to get on that team. Perfectionism, or a willingness to try only things that you know you'll finish perfectly and successfully. So my girlfriend plays lacrosse, and she's pretty good. She was trying out for this state team, and if she made it, she would go play a tournament in Connecticut. She went back, she got back from her tryout, and I said to her, how do you think it went? And she said, uh, I think it went pretty well, but I don't want to get my hopes up, because then when I do, I'm sad when it doesn't happen. That's bad. That is the fear of failure. That is a classic case of self-sabotage. The, the fear of failure was overcoming her confidence, and her previous failures had taught her not to get her hopes up. It's impossible to go through life without failing, and everyone fails. I'm not saying it should be your goal to fail. You should aim for success. But when you have to settle for failure, you should learn from it. Here's a famous example. Michael Jordan didn't make his high school basketball team his sophomore year. He took all the pain, the failure, the jealousy, and dedicated himself to basketball. He went on to become a scholarship athlete at North Carolina, got drafted, won six NBA championships, and is widely considered the best basketball player of all time. Instead of hiding from failure, he looked failure right in the face and conquered it. Here's another one. Milton Hershey started three candy companies before starting the most successful company America has ever seen. Successful chocolate company, sorry. He put his past failures behind him, figured out which ingredients worked and which didn't, and he too looked failure right in the face and conquered it. Okay, if you haven't paid attention to my entire talk, any of it, here's what I want from you, for you to take from this. Although failure is not the best option, it is an option, and it's not the end of the world when you fail. Your failures will shape the person you are in 10 years, as long as you embrace them. Thank you.